While investors have been rushing to safety, and gold prices have moved up 14% so far this year. Our next guest, though, says talk of a bubble is off the mark. Tom Kendall is with us. He is the vice president of commodities research at Credit Suisse. He is joining us now from London. Tom, good morning. Thanks so much for being with us. You say we're not near bubble levels for gold. What price would you see it? Would you be concerned about that? No, look, good morning. That's right. We, uh, we don't think we're in a bubble in gold. In fact, the rally so far this year and, and looking back longer term has been very orderly as far as we're concerned. Uh, a lot of the recent dips have been relatively shallow and very well bought. Uh, I think a talk of a bubble would uh, be misplaced right now. If the price started to rally very rapidly uh, over a period of weeks, then I think that would give us cause for concern. But so far, we've seen a pretty orderly progression. All right. Now, how much of fear of global economic slowing is really driving the price of gold? Is that the number one factor contributing to the price gains? Uh, there are a number of fears, I think, that are playing into, into gold's hands right now. Uh, I don't think it's so much a fear of, of a double dip scenario or, or a slowing in that uh, aspect of uh, it's more to do with fears over the direction of policy in the United States, over the direction of major currency pairs, uh, and that really is, is providing a lot of strength to gold right now. It's hard to talk about gold without talking about the dollar. Do you see the relationship between the two changing, the, the proportion, the way that they trade in tandem or more or less uh, sort of link changing at all? Yes, sure. That, that correlation between the dollar and the gold comes and goes. And earlier this year, we saw it break down uh, as a lot of the fear in the market was about the eurozone economies. Um, uh, I would think that we will likely see that relationship, inverse relationship between the dollar and gold reassert itself as we move through the latter part of this year, um, possibly in the run up to uh, the U.S. midterm elections in November. All right. We thank you very much. Tom Kendall joining us. He is the vice president of commodities research at Credit Suisse. He joined us there from London.